In this video, I will be showing six elevator catalogs I recently acquired. Hold on, it's... Okay, now they're on frame. The first one I'm going to show you is a Payne elevator catalog. I think we... I think a lot of you viewers know about Payne elevator. Maybe not all of you. They only sold all, they were kind of a local company, regional company in Massachusetts. I don't think I've ever filmed a Payne elevator, but I have filmed elevators with Payne fixtures and, cause Payne sold parts to other companies. And, but they also installed elevators. FS Payne Company. It mentions, let me see, Lynn City Hall. I think someone filmed the elevator there. And I think it was still original, but unfortunately it had been modded since they filmed it, I think. FS Payne and Company is from Cambridge, Massachusetts. That's one catalog. Now I'll do the next one. Sedgwick. A company that mostly made dumbwaiters. I filmed a Sedgwick dumbwaiter, but unfortunately it didn't seem to be working. The Sedgwick dumbwaiter I filmed I think was from around circa 1964 or something like that. But I think there are a f maybe a few videos of working Sedgwick dumbwaiters on YouTube. Sedgwick looks like they were based in New York, New York, New York City. And I don't think Sedgwick is in business anymore, but I haven't done much research on this company. Next is a company I've never heard of called Ernst. And I did research and it appears that no one has filmed an Ernst elevator. I will be posting PDF scans of all of these catalogs in the description of this video. Charles K. Ernst, based in Buffalo, New York, it looks like. These, all these catalogs might have come out of a bigger catalog, like an architecture catalog or something like that. I've been noticing that a lot of these companies are from New York that could give a clue to what catalog, what larger catalog these could have come out of. Next is an elevator company called Chelsea, who I think I've heard of once, maybe, but no one's filmed a Chelsea elevator, but they're a, a, an old company. Unfortunately, this catalog has suffered some damage. I will explain. This page came out. What was holding this page in apparently deteriorated over time and it, it came out like super easily. Like I didn't try to tear it out or anything. It was barely even held in there.
Shows the elevator company. Looks like they're based in New York. There's an address. Wonder, wonder if the building that they used to be in still exists. That might be an interesting thing to research. Next is a security fire door catalog. Security mainly made freight elevator doors, and I don't think they installed elevators. This catalog has also ha suffered some damage. Same thing as the per Chelsea catalog. Some of the pages just came right out. Security Fire Door, St. Louis, Missouri. One interesting thing, there's a building on here that I think I actually might recognize. The May Company Building in Los Angeles. I could be wrong about this, but I think that building is actually near LACMA, Los Angeles County Museum of Art, and actually it's part of the museum now but the building's closed for renovations. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's this, I think I'm thinking of the same building actually. But unfortunately I wasn't able to go inside. One catalog left, Warsaw Elevator Company. I think I've heard of them possibly. This catalog isn't, hasn't suffered as much damage, but it's suffered some damage. The front cover and the back cover and the part has come off, but the other pages are all attached. And this one was intact when I got it, but unfortunately it got damaged during scanning. I may try to get a better setup for scanning, because if I had a better setup for scanning, that might have been avoidable. But it's not torn, it's just some of the pages came out. It's not really torn, or at least not torn much. Floor, floor soft floor selector. So, some of you will find that pretty interesting, I think. I think those old relay controllers and selectors are cool. Looks like that's a scissor gate. Notice so how the escalators are labeled as motor stair, which is interesting because Peely also used that term, I think.
Uh, I'm gonna go through the pages. Try to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I missed anything. Any of the pages, I mean. So those are my vintage elevator catalogs I recently acquired. I'm going to put them in the frame. And there are the catalogs. Thanks for watching this video. Scans of this catalog will be in the description in PDF format. And you should also be able to view them online without downloading any files. Anyway, thanks for watching.